If you think this 60 second recap is going to help clear up all the ambiguity in the turn of the screw, think again. The whole point of Henry James' story is to leave you wondering whom and what to believe. Henry James was the master at creating what literary critics call the unreliable narrator. In normal person speak, that means that James wrote books that leave you wondering whom to believe, which is basically the whole point of The Turn of the Screw. I'd call The Turn of the Screw a ghost story, except you're never really sure whether the ghosts the governess is seeing are real or imagined. I'd call the novel a story about the corruption of the innocent, except you're never really sure whether the children in this story have been corrupted, as the governess fears, or whether the corruption is just a figment of the governess's deranged mind. I'd even call the novel a story about evil, what it is and what it can do, except that even the nature of evil in this story is ambiguous. It's never really clear whether the evil is some outside force, like the ghosts or the corrupting influence of sexuality, or whether it's a product of the governess's insanity. I guess the only unambiguous thing about this novel is that it's pretty darn ambiguous. Stick around, though. I'll try to shed some more light on it anyway.